to videotape this and show you guys. I gave him a bath. He didn't know what was going on, but he didn't freak out. He didn't scream. He tried a couple times to get out of the tub, but he put his arms around me and, and I kept holding him and telling him, you're okay, you're okay, everything's gonna be good. You're a good boy, you're okay. And I was pouring warm, really, really, actually it was quite warm water on him. It had a drop of um, peppermint oil, a drop of eucalyptus oil, and a drop of uh, tea tree oil in the shampoo. And I shampoo it out and then I rinse it all out. So it's just enough of a trace that's in there that it won't be harmful for him, but the fleas don't like it. I gotta tell you what happened though, because I'm gonna cry. Because he got to the place where he just laid down in the tub and just looked at me. And he said, it was like, I trust you. I know that you want to take care of me. I mean, remember when I got in between, he got upset and he bit me? He didn't mean to do that. Because this is if ever he was going to bite somebody, it would have been when he was in a tub full of water pouring down on him, right? But he didn't. He just laid there. And the dirt that came off of him, my dusty, my prince in dusty armor, but I knew there was a prince under here. I knew that love. I know who he represents. He wants to be clean. He wants to be loved. He wants a different kind of life. You know? Remember Spirit said, keep whatever it is that's sick, uh, dear to us and precious to us, keep it safe, right? Keep it quiet, keep it safe. And we brought him in, and we kept him safe inside here. He has had the window. He can go. He can go, and he can, I've had the, the door open to my patio. He could go out, and he doesn't. He just wants to be here. He knows he's safe here. And he's getting all cleaned up, and all of the um, the medicine from his surgery is kind of working out of his body. Good boy. You're so beautiful. Right? And it takes a little while. You know, he came in off the streets. Okay, so an abusive situation, very abusive family. Came in off the streets. Went into the doctors, got his shots, got cleaned up, got medication to help him. And he's just been healing. He's been quiet. He's been healing. He's been resting a lot. Right? It's, which is, good boy, you want to go up there? Yeah. Good boy, honey. I'm so proud of him. I can't tell you. Good boy, sweetheart. Yeah. Be here where it's all nice and soft. Be there where it's nice and soft, sweetheart. You are such a good boy. I am so proud of you. This is what we have to do for ourselves too, right? We want to clean ourselves up. We want to clean our act up, right? We, when we awaken and we realize we want to change our life. I want to be different. I want to, I want a different lifestyle than I had, you know? I wasn't happy where I was. <clears throat> it didn't suit me. <clears throat> I didn't fit in. I'm going to go where I belong. I'm going to go where there's love and kindness and compassion. And I'm going to blend into that environment because I know I'm safe there. But it's a tra the transition is difficult, right? I'm going to give myself time to recuperate and allow the medicine to work through whatever the medicine is that spirit gives us, right? And, and I'm going to rest. And that's what we have to do. We have to go in. We have to be really gentle with ourselves when we go through these transitions. Really, really gentle with ourselves. Baby ourselves. Get plenty of rest. <sighs> Keep ourselves in a peaceful, calm environment, which is what he's doing and what we're trying to do for him. No trauma, no upset, no fighting, right? God. And then we'll be strong. He's a strong boy. Yes, he is. And he's a good boy. He's a beautiful boy. Okay, I'm going to go get a dryer towel. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm so impressed. <laughs>